everybody and welcome back to the Girl Girl Bookworm. So today I have for you the May releases that you should keep on your radar. Cannot believe it's already May. I feel like I just filmed my April one. Well, it's not May yet, but it feels like it's almost May. So I cannot believe time is flying for sure. So I'm going to try my best to go in time order. And we're just going to get started. So the very first release for May is supposed to be Love on Beach Avenue by Jennifer Probst. This is the first book in one of her new series. Jennifer Probst is an autobi author for me, so I don't normally read what her synopsis is are about because I know that I'm just going to read them right away. Obviously, with Beach in the title, I'm hoping that this is a Beach read. Um, if you are an Amazon Prime member, I don't know if the time has expired, but in April you were able to get the ebook for free. Um, so definitely check that out if you're an Amazon Prime member and you are interested in this book. Um, I will be getting the physical copy just because I own the rest of her books, but that one does come out May 1st. And then we move on to May 5th, which is the largest of the release days. Um, we've got Stay With Me by Becky Wade. This is another one that I'm not 100% positive of what it's about. Becky Wade is a Christian fiction author that I've been wanting to try forever and I didn't know where to start so I was like might as well start with this one. So this is her newest release. Again not 100% what it's about but maybe it's on your radar if you like Christian fiction. And then also on May 5th, we've got Close Up, which is a the fourth book in the Burning Cove series um, by Amanda Quick. Um, again, with it being the fourth book, I'm not going to spoil it, but it is a historical fiction book that takes place in that like early 20s, 30s time. Um, I love those books. They follow very strong women characters going through some stuff, and they kind of have a... They're not thrillers, but they've got kind of like a mystery, thrilleriness suspensefulness to them. Um, I really enjoy them. I know that they can be hit or miss with some people, but I know it's on my radar, so maybe on your radar. Continuing on with May 5th, we've got um, The Paris Hours by Alex George. I'm actually currently reading this one. Um, spoiler alert to my book, of, uh, my book of the month hauls this time around. I'm already halfway through. This one is a historical fiction book that takes place again in the 1920s, 1927 to be specific. We're following a whole bunch of different characters, a puppeteer, an artist, a musician, um, no, a writer. He's not a musician. Um, a maid. And we're following all of them and their lives are kind of all in different places right now. They're all kind of about to blow up, um, pretty much. And I, not literally, the lives are about to just kind of like go crazy. And we're following them in these like last hour moments. And eventually, apparently, they're all going to unite together at the end. But I have no idea how because they are so different from each other. And they're all in different paths. So I have no idea how it's going to get there. But apparently, it's going to get there. And I'm really excited to find out how. Also, on May 5th, we've got Once Upon an Eid, which is... Um, a short story collection of Hope and Joy by 15 Muslim Voices. This is a middle grade novel, so eight years old and up. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Um, it really just gives these voices to such a great holiday. So you're not only learning about the holiday, but you're learning about the culture, but you're also learning life lessons along the way. And I really enjoyed this book and I hope that you're going to give it a try too. I did just talk about it in a currently reading video, which I will try to link somewhere if that video is already up. If not, it's coming soon, I promise. Um, but yeah, definitely one that you're going to want to check out. Then we've got... The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I have not read this one yet. This one was one of my book of the month choices as well. And this is following these people. They're on a remote island for a wedding and murder happens. So who did it? I'm excited. I'm here for it. Um, my One of my good friends in real life, she was reading this and she started off being like, eh, it's kind of mad. And she's like, never mind, I take it back, I take it back. It's got twists, it's got turns, I'm enjoying it. So I was like, good, 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 good. So I'm excited to get to this one. The back says, an exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid, all have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. 
so cool. Then also, if you believe it, on, you guessed it, May 5th, we've got Hollywood Park by Michael Gillette, or Michael Gillette. And this is following, um, it's a memoir, so it's not following, well, it's following someone, but it's a memoir about him and his, he was born and started to be raised in a commune, and um, his mom ends up escaping with him, and it's kind of his journey to figuring out the real world in real life and figuring out what he wants to do. Um, I guess he obviously has a troubling life, so I'm interested to see what this one's going to be like. Then, let's see, let's see. Oh, and then on the 15th, we've got What Happens Between Us, um, or What Happened Between Us by John Mars. Um, I've already read this one as well. Um, this one, um, if you've read him in the past, you know him to be kind of a sci-fi thriller author, and you don't get that one with this one. It is literally a straight-up thriller novel. Um, it's about a woman who's been holding her mom hostage and we are finding out, like we're following her and her mom in the current time, but we're also flashbacking to the past and both of their perspectives there as well, kind of figuring out like what led them to the point that they're at currently right now. Um, I didn't love this one as much as I've loved his previous novels. It is a page turner. It is one that's going to keep you on the edge of your toes but it's just not that sci-fi thriller that we know from him with the one in the passengers. 15, let's see. Then on the 19th, which is the, nope, not the last day, but is another very popular day. Um, we've got Happy and You Know It by Laura Hankin. And this one is about a young musician who's struggling to kind of make it work. And she ends up becoming a musician for this mommy and me group and it's kind of it reminded me a little bit of Big Little Lies where this like mommy me group kind of like lets her in on their little secrets and their glamorous life and their dangerous secrets and it just sounds like it's going to be phenomenal and I cannot wait to read this one. What else comes out the 19th? Carolina Breeze by um Denise Hunter, which is book two to the um to Lake Season in the Bluebell Inn series. And that one comes out. I cannot wait to get to that one because I let the Lake Season go way too long on my shelf. So I know the minute Carolina Breeze comes in, I'm picking that up and reading it instantly. Also on the 19th, we've got The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is the prequel novel to The Hunger Games. I am so excited for that one. Um, I believe it follows um, President Snow, but like before he was President Snow and why he's so crazy. So I'm interested to see what that one's going to be like as well. We also have Beach Read by Emily Henry coming out on the, the 19th. And this follows a woman and a man. They're both authors. She writes romance, and I believe he either writes literary fiction or something. Like she's always writing happy things. He's not. And they're both having writer's block, and they're neighbors um, at this beach. And they decide to swap, where she's going to write what he typically writes, and he's going to write what she typically writes, and go from there. And it sounds so good. Cannot wait to try this one. And then the last book that I have to talk to you about, just double checking, making sure I didn't miss any. The last one comes out May 26th, and that is Sister Dear by Hannah um, McKinnon. Hannah McKinnon? I'm missing an initial in there. Hannah Mary McKinnon? I don't know. I'll leave the picture here. Uh, that one is about a girl, and she finds out that her father is not her father. I think he dies, and they find out that she never belonged to him in the first place. So then she decides that she wants to find her biological father and see what life he chose instead of her. Sounds thrillery. Sounds crazy. I'm sure she's going to be jealous, and things are going to go crazy. So I'm excited to give that one a shot at the end of May. So lots of great May releases. I feel like 2020 has been a year of amazing, amazing releases and it's not slowing down anytime soon, which is great 
for everyone except for my wallet. So that'll be fun. So I hope you guys found a new book that you're excited for. Let me know if there's any May releases that you're excited for down below and I will see you guys really soon. Bye everybody.